Chris, and today I'll be talking about STL's Nightingale Tenor Ocarina. The Nightingale Tenor is a great ocarina for anybody that would like a moderately dynamic tenor, or for a newer player that would like to start out on a tenor ocarina that will help teach better breath control. The Nightingale Tenor has a very ergonomic design that makes it ideal for longer practice sessions. It's perfect for a diligent student. The Nightingale Tenor C is fully chromatic and plays from A4 to F6, giving it a range of 1 octave plus 5 for a total of 13 notes. Here's the scale. The Nightingale Tenor is about 5 inches long, and it's about 2.5 inches wide. It weighs about 8.5 ounces, which is about the same as my Nintendo 3DS. Here they are next to each other for a better size comparison. The Nightingale Tenor is a transverse ocarina, but the mouthpiece is angled forward to the degree that it's almost like playing an inline ocarina. This takes a lot of strain off of your wrists, because it allows your hands to remain in a very natural position as you play. The Nightingale Tenor has a smooth but grippy matte finish. Glazed ceramic ocarinas have a tendency to become slippery if your fingertips become moist with sweat. The Nightingale Ocarinas have a tendency to stay dry, which can be very helpful in performance situations. The Nightingale Tenor is a great fit for most hand sizes, so unless you have really small hands, the Nightingale Tenor is a great choice. The Nightingale Tenor's overall volume is moderately loud for a tenor ocarina, and it can be enjoyed both indoors and outdoors. The breath requirements are somewhat dynamic with a gently rising breath slope, so you will need to reduce your breath slightly on the lowest notes, and the highest notes will need a little extra breath to sound clear. Because of this, the Nightingale Tenor is a great ocarina for helping to develop better breath control. With time and practice, it has the potential to be played more expressively than a less dynamic ocarina. I consider the Nightingale series to be beginner level ocarinas. While the breath requirements are a bit more difficult than other beginner ocarinas, I feel that the combination of the good ergonomics, the grippy matte texture, and the fact that the Nightingale Tenor fits most hand sizes makes it a great choice for a motivated beginner just starting out. The Nightingale Tenor has a very warm, earthy tone. I enjoy playing slow, melodic pieces with my Nightingale Tenor, but it is versatile enough to accommodate many different styles of music, which is another reason it makes a great student ocarina. At first, I definitely recommend using your neck strap with the Nightingale Tenor. When learning to hold an ocarina, there's always an adjustment period, and especially if you're used to less inline ocarinas, it will be good to have that safety string just in case it slips out of your hands. In my experience, playing the highest notes on an inline ocarina can sometimes be a bit of a balancing act. The Nightingale Tenor makes this a bit easier with its curved, tapered shape. It's very easy to just sort of wrap your little fingers around the edge, and if you do it just right, you won't block the C-hole. The texture also makes it very easy to just roll your thumbs off of the thumb holes, which is a great alternative for those high notes. For best results, be sure to use very focused breath on the highest notes. Using the correct amount of breath and leaning forward slightly for those notes will produce a better, more consistent tone. For the lowest notes, be sure to reduce your breath slightly to keep from sounding sharp. You can practice low B and A by comparing them with B and A one octave higher to make sure that you're using the correct amount of breath. The more you practice, the easier it gets. Having a tenor and a soprano ocarina an octave apart allows you to give your performance a bit more variety. For example, it's a lot of fun to start out a piece on a tenor ocarina and then switch to a soprano ocarina for the last verse. Many of my favorite ocarina musicians like to do this.
Well, that's all for this time. Thanks for watching.